Good evening. Summer is finally here. What a beautiful day it is. Sunny and bright. Yesterday in the spectator, when I was reading the newspaper, in the, in the weather section it was written, temperature 25 degrees with rain symbol next to it. And on the bottom of that symbol, the weather person has written, never mind the rain, it's going to be a nice day. I like that. It is a very positive thinking. We should all think positive. This is beautiful Canada. We cannot move forward without talking about the weather. Welcome to a 10th annual Spring Festival of South Asia. We all get together every year to celebrate diversity. I love my duty at the welcoming table, meeting all of you and seeing most of you come here every year. Thanks for your support. And some of you who are here for the first time, a warm welcome to you all. Thanks for your support, for coming every year and standing by us. It's very heartening to see the sponsors, the dignitaries, chief guests, and uh, all of you come and join us. What a great way to enjoy part of your Mother's Day weekend celebrating diversity, sharing the different cultures with each other. We have a wonderful show for you tonight. At this time, I would like to request to please have your cell phones on mute. Without any further delay, I would I will ask you to join me welcoming our President Indu Singh and our Vice President Jasmine Huck. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our 10th annual celebration of South Asian Heritage Month. It's hard to believe that it's been 10 years. I still remember the day when we all met in 2004. When we came to know that May is South Asian Heritage Month in Ontario, we didn't even know what that meant. When we understood more of it, we thought we should have a chapter in Hamilton and do something for it. But how? I had only one non-Indian South Asian friend, Jasmine Har. I discussed in full length with her how to form a chapter of South Asian people and organize an event. She jumped to the idea. Before then, I had no idea how talented she was. We took a plunge, and here we are. We South Asian come with a huge package of political and religious differences. And we wanted to build an organization beyond these two major obstacles. Come on, how could even we think putting Pakistani and Indian on the stage? We must acknowledge Maxine Carter, who helped us to connect with each other. We met Mr. Jafar Pasha Siddiqui through Maxine Carter, and he is with the organization since then. Many times we forget that Maxine is not South Asian, and we start talking to her in Hindi or Urdu. Only two words she knows, beta and beti, means son and daughter. And she is very proud of her uh, you know, Hindi vocabulary. And I'm sure over the years, she must have learned much more than that. I like, um, Sahar have built the board from different South Asian countries. I like to call them bouquet of South Asia. We are from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Maldives, and Afghanistan. I can say on behalf of all of us, Sahar have become our family. Our event become our family gathering, where we celebrate our festival together, eat together, and let's not forget, share our fashions together. Believe it or not, our community buy their new outfit to wear on this special day. They have to put extra effort because they will be attending extended family gathering. Before I close, I want to give a very special thank to Cable 14. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Rav. Thank you, Gail. Thank you for helping us to introduce our culture, our history, our fashion, our cuisine to the white Canadian society. Last but not the least, our spouses, 
our family. Thank you for all your support, your patience. Without your help, we couldn't have made 10 years. Thank you. Now I would like to uh, introduce our Vice President, Jasmine Haq. I'm so proud to be a part of this organization where all the members work together towards a mission to accomplish their goals. So good to see our organization growing, growing up day by day. It is only possible when you have such a wonderful, hardworking members who believe in teamwork and a team leader is willing to go above and beyond to make the team feel secured, build trust and loyalty in order to keep the ship afloat. Way to go, Sahar. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to see a show that showcases culture and custom of South Asia. On a single platform, you will enjoy cultural diversity from different countries in South Asia. We are proud to see our youth participate eagerly and showcasing their individual culture and heritage. Now please allow me to introduce our MCs of this evening. Welcome Pooja Singh and Sandesh Nalikot. Pooja is with us since the inception of Sahar. She works at Sheridan College as a counselor for international students. As a dedicated volunteer who is always eager in ex extending a helping hand to all the new immigrant students who needs her help. On spare time, Pooja likes to read, paint, hike, and of course, should I tell that? No. I don't know. <laughs> Work out. <laughs> Sandesh previously participated in our show as a dancer. He describes himself as a jack of all trades. Having tried everything presented to him, his home love has been dance. He believes there is a beat in everything, and a beat can be danced too. Apart from being a dancer, Sandesh is a chartered accountant. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Pooja and Sandesh. Please enjoy the universal language of music. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Huck, for the lovely introduction. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 10th Spring Festival of South Asia, presented to you by South Asian Association for Hamilton Region. Let's start by giving you a little more information about us. This is my lovely co-host, Pooja. And what can I tell you about her? Well, she's very ambitious, very well accomplished. And as Jasmine Huck mentioned, you know, she's an international student counselor at Sheridan College. And like mother, like daughter, she's a social butterfly. And I would need more than my slated time to introduce my host. So without further ado, please give a warm welcome to Pooja. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for that lovely introduction, Sandesh. Um, I must say it's quite accurate and flattering. So what can I tell you all about Sandesh? You know what? Sandesh is the son of the very talented Miss Sujata Suresh. She's the choreographer who has been bringing you the beautiful dances that have been entertaining you for the past few years. So with that, let's move forward with the show. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Sorry? Th that's it? Sorry? That's not cool. What? You, you, could, you could say a few more words about me, about, you know, how super athletic I am and popular. Or you could even talk about, you know, how experienced and well accomplished I am as a host. Accomplished? OK. Um, so what Sandesh is referring to is, this is a true story, by the way. He was once a judge at a baby pageant. <laughs> and not only was he a judge at a baby pageant, but he kept mistaking the word months with years. And you can imagine how well that went at a baby pageant. So I wouldn't say you're quite the accomplished host. And ladies and gentlemen, that's how, that's why they say you never go hunting into a lion's den. Anyhow, let's get started. How is everyone doing tonight? 
We've, we've got an excited crowd this time. Way to go, good start. So we would like to start by welcoming our board members to the stage. Mrs. Indus Singh, our president. Mrs. Jasmine Huck, our vice president. Mrs. Nirdosh Gulati, our treasurer. Mrs. Sajata Suresh, our cultural secretary. Mr. Tabarruk Jahan, our secretary. And our board members, Ms. Jyotsna Verma, Mr. Mr. Zafar Pasha Siddiqui, Mr. Kurshid Ahmed, Ms. Lydia Fernando, and Mr. Ravindra Nepal. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank them all so much for organizing tonight's events. And with that... To carry on with tradition, every year, our multicultural community from Sahar felicitates the City Hall with a memento to highlight their gratitude towards the city of Hamilton for extending undaunted support and involvement in our cultural endeavors. This year, Ruvandi Karyavasam and Heshan Fernando will represent the Sri Lankan community in doing the honors. Please welcome them to the stage. Hi, Bowen. Wanna come? Good evening, I'm Heishan Fernando. And my name is Rwandi Kariwasam. It's a privilege for me and Heishan to be on stage tonight to represent all the Sri Lankans in the community of Hamilton. We'd also like to thank the Sahar organizers for giving us this opportunity. Sri Lanka, the pearl of the Indian Ocean, is well known for its agriculture, um, our heritage, uh, hospitality, beaches, and wildlife. The Asian elephants that are found in Sri Lanka are considered to be auspicious as they represent good fortune and attribute royalty. Today we have this special ornament brought all the way from Sri Lanka. Um, three elephants holding a bowl, and I'll show it to you guys right now. Okay, so you can find this ornament in almost every household in Sri Lanka, at either the front of the main entrance or the center of the living room to welcome those who enter. Now we would like to welcome and invite to the stage Mr. Brian McCaddy, Ward 1 Counselor of City of Hamilton, to receive this beautiful gift as a small token of appreciation of our culture. Well, thanks very much for including the City of Hamilton here in the uh, event tonight. Uh, I have the uh, great pleasure to represent uh, Mayor Bob Bertina and all members of City Council here this evening. Uh, the the uh, wonderful event we have, the, the, tenth, the tenth Spring Festival of the South Asian community. And earlier we heard all the different countries, all the different countries that are part of the South Asian community. And uh, I understand uh, almost every one of those countries is part of the committee organizers and is part of the uh, festival tonight with the exception of uh, Bhutan. And we know Bhutan is, the, uh, is known as the happiest country in the world. So it'd be understandable that they would stay in Bhutan and not necessarily come to Canada. It's the happiest uh, country. And then the, uh, the Maldives, I believe, is the other uh, country that's not uh, as well represented. And uh, it's, of course, a wonderful island, uh, island country with, uh, with beautiful beaches in, uh, in the, uh, the Indian Ocean. So perhaps understandable as well that they're not involved. But I think the, uh, the message tonight, and it's been said already by Indu, is that all those countries uh, working together here in Hamilton to, uh, to celebrate the uh, diversity and the harmony of, of uh, all the South Asian countries is, is tremendous. Uh, and it really is, is uh, wonderful for Hamilton. It's a huge contribution to the Hamilton community. And uh, we, uh, we benefit from that uh, each and every day from all the people from all those different countries. So I look forward to the wonderful uh, celebration this evening, and I'll take uh, with uh, great pride, take the, uh, the token, uh, more than a token, the wonderful Sri Lankan uh, 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 item that was uh, given to us tonight back to City Hall and present it uh, at City Council this coming Wednesday. Thanks very much. Thank you so much for um, coming and joining us tonight, Mr. McCaddy. We really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. As we all know, Sahar is a not-for-profit organization. And we've, having, we've been having this event for free in the past, and we plan to do so in future. 
And this is all possible due to the generous sponsorships of many individuals and businesses. We should get cracking and move on with the rest of the show, shouldn't we? Actually, Pooja, talking of which, have you seen those billboards that keep boasting about who made your eggs today? I did not know that, you know, those are from our corporate sponsors, the Egg Farmers of Ontario. Actually, they are. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank them for being our sponsor, our corporate sponsor this year. You can see their poster at the front of the stage and on the back of your booklet. This is our 10th celebration, and this year we're delighted to have someone representing the Egg Farmers of Ontario for us today. So what I would like to do is invite Ms. Josma Varma to the stage to welcome Mr. Roger Pellicero and present a token of appreciation. Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. And now on to the entertainment portion of our program. Sandesh, you know how much toil and sweat has gone into putting together the next program? You know, apart from our backstage cheerleading, you know what would really mean a lot to these performers is the appreciation of the audience who they're performing for. Well reminded, Pooja. You missed your cue, but I'll continue. Dear audience, let us please not be close-fisted with our praise and laudations. And on that note, our first item is titled Daybreak, a three-minute invocatory dance piece aiming at peace and harmony. It's a prayer with constant endeavor to bring happiness to all living beings. This item is based on the dulcet tones of violin by the renowned Indian composer Bala Bhaskar, supported by a befitting chorus. Performers are Gauri, Rian, Hannah, Avyukta, Tessia, Kavya, Alina, Priya, Uma, and Anne. The dance is choreographed by Mrs. Sujata Suresh. Please welcome them to the stage.
Be the lot of me, some jagger, they got out of.